Are you starting your coaching business and struggling to find the perfect name for it? Today, I'm going to walk you through a five-step framework. And if you stay till the end of the video, I'll share a tip that will save you time, money, and headache. Choosing a brand name is by far one of the most crucial decisions you'll make. Once set, it's tough to change and it will be everywhere from your website to all your social media channels. So let's dive into the five step framework. If you haven't met yet, my name is Sue. I specialize in helping coaches launch and grow their profitable business. All right, so let's get into it. Step one of our five step framework. Start by getting very clear on your niche. Understanding your niche is crucial because your brand name should resonate with the audience you want to serve. For example, if you specialize in health coaching for busy professionals, you may consider names like exec fit coaching or peak performance partners. These names clearly communicate who you target your audience is and the kind of coaching you offer. Once you understand your niche, it's time to move to step two. This step is about brainstorming. Get creative and jot down everything that comes to mind. Think about words that reflect your coaching style and niche. You can involve friends in this process and discuss ideas with them, which is, makes it more fun, right? After you compiled a list of about 30 to 50 potential names, it's time to move on to step three. But before we move on, remember, not all these names are going to be good. So keep an open mind and try not to get too attached to any of them. Okay, moving on to step three. Step three involves narrowing down your list using a method of elimination. Reduce your list from 30 to 50 names to five to 10. You wanna eliminate anything that's controversial or confusing. You want to eliminate any names that potentially can isolate specific groups like men, women, or children. And you want to eliminate names that could be mistaken for existing brands. You also want to eliminate anything too generic like life coaching, which is very broad. You'll be lost in the sea of life coaches. You want to eliminate anything that is too complicated or not searchable on Google, right? So for example, people are most likely not searching for integrative, transformational mastery coaching. It's quite complex to remember, right? It's that sweet spot where it's not too simple, but not too complex. I have specific method that simplifies this process for my clients in my one-on-one -on -one Success with Sue program. Remember that brain burns a lot of calories to break down information, and if the information is too hard and not too important, it will conserve energy for vital functions for survival and skip over your information. So keep it specific enough to be meaningful and simple enough to be easily remembered. Narrow your options down to five to 10 names that you're truly proud of and can envision presenting your brand. Now that you have a solid list of potential names, move on to step four research. This step is crucial. Check to see if you can legally use your chosen names. It's a nightmare to set up your brand only to be told later you can't use the name. Spend some time ensuring the name is legally available. Start with a simple Google search to see if there are any businesses using the names you're considering. This can give you an immediate sense if this name is widely used or if there are any major brands with that name. Search for the name on major social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. This will help you determine if the name is in use and if the social media handles you want are available. Next, check if the domain name is available for your business. Websites like GoDaddy or Google Domains can tell you whether your desired domain is free to register. Finally, do a trademark search to avoid future legal issues. Once you've done your initial checks, consider consulting with a trademark attorney. They can provide detailed advice and help you with the process of registering a trademark, ensuring your brand is protected legally. Once you know your list is safe, it's time for feedback and decision-making. Pull your business associates, mentors, friends, and family on your short list. Ask why they prefer certain names, and this feedback can be invaluable. 
Ideally, you want to pick a name that you can secure the domain and social media handles. If you're looking at a name that already exists, it will be hard to stand out against that competitor. Choose a name that is available so you can secure the domain and social media handles. Once you decided on a name you like and comfortable with, the final step, which is step five, is to lock it down legally. Trademark your name, hiring a lawyer is advisable to cover all your bases. This step is all about having peace of mind. Also, secure social media handles across all platforms, even though you're not gonna use them immediately. Think of it as securing your digital real estate. When choosing a brand name for your coaching business, remember our brain is designed for us to survive. So keep it simple and relevant. A simple name is easy to remember and pronounce. Make sure it's relevant to your coaching focus, resonating with your target audience's needs and expectations. This brings me to the tip I mentioned in the beginning of the video that will save you time and money. If you're stuck in a loop trying to name your business, consider using your own name. Look at big names like Tony Robbins or Zig Ziglar. They use their personal names for their brands, although they might have different names for their programs. This approach works well in coaching where personal connection is key. And really, you are the product and the service when it comes to coaching. Choosing your name will save you time and money and speed up your process. If you find this guide helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe for more valuable insights. You'll stay ahead of your competition with each video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.